Polisko. Be tactful. Feel refreshed. Feel life's ecstasy. Be your own narrator. With no cheap frills. Be their obsession. And nurture love. Get the Trenton look. Hey all my sapiens and marvites, welcome back to the channel and welcome any new watchers or subscribers. I am Rogue Marvie Scott and today I'm going to get the Trenton look. Now if you don't know what the Trenton look... Oh, I just bit my tongue. <laughs> now, if <you> don't <laughs> now if you don't know what the Trenton look is, then um, go check out this video where Trenton Lee, a non-YouTuber, but a PhD student who is um, looking into the lives of YouTubers and whatnot, off camera and on camera, and he did my makeup. So yeah, we're going to recreate that look again. So first off, I'm going to do my base, and I'm going to do my base off camera. So guys, base is done, and we're going to now concentrate one of the lightest blues from the Take Me Back to Brazil palette onto our crease, and we're just going to blend in circular motions and windscreen wiper motions. Sorry, I lost my words there. And we're just going to make this color as opaque as possible, but we're also going to make sure that those edges are blended out. Now, if this look does look any different to Trenton's, it's because I'm using matte colours first and he used a lot of shimmery colours from the Tropicana BH Cosmetics um, palette, but I decided that the look needed to be a little subtle. So now going on to one of the darkest shades of blue in the Take Me Back to Brazil, it's another matte colour. I'm placing that directly on top and underneath that blue that I've just put there and I'm blending those both in together to create a nice gradient before I go even darker. Now I'm going in with my third and final darkest shade of blue on my lid and I'm just placing that again directly underneath the second one and blending them all together but I'm making sure that this blue is more concentrated on the lid because I'm going to create a half cut crease so I need all of those shades to blend and create a lovely gradient before I go on to create the cut crease now what I'm going to say is that I loved Trenton's look however obviously not being a makeup artist or a makeup enthusiast he he wasn't too sure about how to blend and he wasn't too sure about technical terms but you know what who's to blame but I'm sure he watched my videos so he should have learned something anyway continuing to blend my uh, shadow I'm now going to blend to the top using a clean fluffy brush and then I'm going to add some more of that lighter blue on top just because I felt like it lost some opacity onto it or it's its shade and then I'm just going to blend that out all over again using a fluffy brush making sure that all of that color is all um, cohesive together Now it's time to create my half cut crease and as you can see I'm placing the concealer where I need it and then I'm just going to fill in and just blend everything. Now I decided not to do the whole blink motion that I normally do because I just wanted this to be a small cut crease and not a large cut crease and I didn't want to lose the gradient in between so therefore I'm not rolling my head or anything to do so. I'm just keeping my head down, my eyes down into the mirror and concentrating so sorry if I'm, if I'm lost in, in motion. Once I've done that, I'm going to use two shades actually from the Tropicana BH Cosmetics uh, palette. And um, both of these shades, I believe Trenton did use in my look that he did for me the first time round. So therefore I'm staying true to the whole shimmery look because he likes a little bit of shimmer, if you know what I'm saying. And then I'm going to continue with the rest of my look. So now I'm putting a matte pink or fuchsia underneath my eyelids to bring this look together and then I'm going to go in with an orange on the inner parts of my um, lower lash line so it, it gives it more of a spunky funky look he didn't do any on the bottom of me 
um, of my lids should I say now I'm going on with some highlighter and I am going in very lightly with a highlighter from Mac it is the gold deposit I believe it is and I'm just doing that and then I'm going to blend that out with a wet sponge going in with the same pink lipstick that he put on me which actually looks really bad for my skin tone like it, it I look very sick prostitute sick with this lipstick alone without any shading so I thought you know what let me bring some of that blue into this look and I went in with the shadows that I've already used on my eyes as well as some as a purple and I've just you know dusted my lips with that just to make some sort of gradient of purple blue and pink so you might be aware that I'm already, I've already got um, mascara on as for my lashes, but that's because I couldn't put my lashes on without Trenton. So Trenton, if you're watching, you need to be coming over when I need to put my lashes on. Anyway, continuing with my lips, I'm just creating a nice gradient, you know, going back and forth with the colours to make everything pop the way that I need it and make sure that everything is blended and there's no harsh lines. Now I'm going back in with some highlighter to do my nose, give myself a little pop there, hair, there cheeks everywhere and that is the look and um yeah and i would just like to say a big massive thank you to trenton for being part of his project so guys that's how i got the look i created my friend trenton's look in a I kind of went to go, I wanted to go exactly how he went but those lips weren't working so I had to do this with my lips, I'm not too sure about them, um, but I like this look, it's very, um, how can I, I put it, I, I look very colour punk, if that's colourful punk, I don't know if that's even a, a term or anything, but anyway, I enjoy doing this makeup and I'll see you soon in the next video, bye! <laughs>